These actors never got to see their last on-screen performances. White hands your lemon. You gotta crush it into lemonade. So f thick. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten actors who died before the release of their final films. For this list, we've chosen actors whose last films or performances in these films were generally perceived as notable and/or successful. Number ten. Bernie Mac. I can stick you in my ass, small fry. You sure it ain't too sore from last night? You got some lip on you, midget. As an actor, stand-up comedian, and voice artist, Mac always had many things on his plate. Pretty darn impressive. So even though his health worsened, he continued working and had several movies in the can before dying of complications from pneumonia. Before I kick your butt, let me ask <laughs> you, why do you even want to become the Alpha Lion? This included the better than the original Madagascar 2, as well as the critically panned Old Dogs. Was it electrified? Electrified. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Wham, like bam, chocolate bam, milk baby. coming through the <laughs> nose, baby. And while Soul Men received mixed reviews, we remember Mac for his energy and chemistry with Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, come all the way down here, man. You're going to look me in my face and knock me the f out? Should have called first. Number nine, Raul Julia. Are you men enough to fight with me? Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. Street Fighter might not have been considered a good movie, but it was popular at the box office and caught people's attention for Julia's portrayal of General M. Bison. We shall face it together, DJ. With the stoicism of the true warrior. Though Julia was known for his more serious and dramatic Tony and Golden Globe nominated work, the actor was often cited as the best thing about the film, which was released two months after he died from brain hemorrhage complications. Number eight, Tupac Shakur. What's the matter, you don't trust me anymore? <laughs> I don't trust no motherfucking body. This rapper and actor kept busy during his lifetime, as evidenced by several posthumous solo albums with new material. Though Tupac was killed in a drive-by shooting in 1996, three of his movies came out in the months following his passing. While the crime drama Bullet mostly passed under the radar and gang-related received mixed reviews, Tupac was lauded for Gridlocked, which had one critic saying he was born to play Spoon. Now what do we gotta do? Temporary Medicaid. What? We go to welfare, we tell them it's an emergency, and we need to get into detox. Number seven. Brandon Lee. You heard me rapping, right? As the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee, Brandon was a promising young actor with only half a dozen movies under his belt before he was cast in The Crow. <laughs> Victims, aren't we all? Unfortunately, filming the comic book adaptation resulted in his tragic death. Lee was accidentally shot and killed by a prop gun while filming. However, his remaining scenes were shot using a stunt double, and the movie was a smash and cult hit. Guess it's not a good day to be a bad guy, huh, skank? Number six, Gene Harlow. I assure you, I dislike asking favors of you, but my grandfather doesn't know you hold a deed to his property. I know that. 1937's Saratoga wasn't only Harlow's last collaboration with Clark Gable, but it was also her final movie role. I love you, Duke. Hey, what are you trying to do? Steal my gag line? While the film was well received and earned the studio top earnings, the actress wasn't able to reap the rewards. A mix of medical conditions resulted in the onset collapse that eventually led to Harlow's death. Another actress was used to complete the movie, which came out less than two months later. Number five, Bruce Lee. He was a pop culture icon and one of the most influential martial artists ever. Don't think. Feel. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Sadly, Lee's health took a turn for the worse shortly after he finished work on Enter the Dragon, and he was found unconscious after taking painkillers. He had also been working on The Game of Death at the time, but it was the posthumous release of Enter the Dragon that's left an incomparable legacy. Number four, Spencer Tracy. Why am I here? 
Well, Sam, I... After all, you know, a little normal could have driven you down here. Why did you ask me? Thought you might want to kiss me goodbye. As part of Hollywood's golden age, Tracy became known for his style and acting range. What's on your mind? I'd like to take you to a baseball game. Okay. Though he maintained his popularity for many years, the actor's health issues began taking their toll as he aged. In fact, much of the production of 1967's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner was adjusted around him. Well, I never would have believed I'd hear you say a thing like that. His illness didn't affect his performance, and the film earned him multiple accolades, though he died a few months before its release. Old? Yes. Burned out? Certainly. But I can tell you, the memories are still there. Number three, Heath Ledger. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's, it's gone. The Aussie's portrayal of Batman's arch enemy was so unexpected and terrifying that it won him a posthumous Oscar. I stick a razor in my mouth and do this to myself. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. But it may have also cost him his life. He overdosed on the prescription pills that allegedly helped him sleep. Both The Dark Knight and The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus were released after he passed, with the latter requiring the help of three other actors to complete it. Number two, Clark Gable. They're uh, nothing but misfit horses, honey. I wish you'd been here in the old days. I seen them come pouring out of those passes three, four, five hundred at a time. Released in 1961, the American drama The Misfits was both Clark Gable's and Marilyn Monroe's last completed movie appearance. Well, if it's bad, maybe you have to take a little of the bad with the good, else you'll be running for the rest of your life. What is it to stop for? You're just like everybody else. Though the blonde bombshell got to see the finished product, Gable did not. He succumbed to heart problems and was unable to bask in critics' praise of his performance. Number one, James Dean. You're tearing me apart! What? You, you say one thing, he says another, and everybody changes back again! This rebel without a cause may have only starred in three feature-length movies during his career, but he's also the only actor with two posthumous Best Actor Oscar nominations to his name. My welcome in, babe. <laughs> Giant earned its director an Academy Award, but Dean didn't even live to see the final product. A car crash took his life when he was just 24. The movie remains a classic of American cinema and further cemented Dean's status as a cultural icon. I guess you're about the best looking gal we've seen around here in a long time, I think. Do you agree with our list? Which actor do you think is missing? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. So, uh, better be going.